Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back of course to ZFX, your number one mentor. Guys, I'll be updating my strategy with you guys in 2023 if you want to be consistent, funded, pass all these challenges and be able to grow accounts slowly. If you want to, of course, rely on something, you know that every month you're going to be making money, this strategy will really work for you. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit my notification bell so don't leave it, so don't miss most of my videos. Remember, make sure you always be the first to watch my videos. Why? Is because you'll be updated with the next uh with the next analysis because whenever i'm making a video i'm also trying to analyze and try to see what is going to happen you get that so this is a usd chef and i want you to understand one simple thing okay in trading guys don't forget this video is being sponsored by xness one of my leading brokers check my description and of course click that link and open yourself a trading account don't forget also to check my buy in my description you'll be able to find my whatsapp number if you need my help and of course check my description and join my telegram group let's trade together remember we have challenges of growing 20 usd to 500 we also have challenges of getting funded as a fund as a forex trader and as a funded trader now so let's move on straight away guys so this is usd chef I want you to realize one thing about the market. You see, about my strategy, this is what you need to do. There's what you call an order flow, okay? An order flow means the trend. So this is a USD chef, and you would realize that market was was uh, there was some there was some buying pressure, okay? There was some buying pressure in the market. And why I'm saying there was some buying pressure in the market is I can spot higher highs. I can spot higher highs, okay? Now I have a higher high here that you're seeing me mark that point. This higher high here. Uh, that's my higher high and I have my higher high here okay my higher high there then I also have almost my higher high there okay but uh, I want you to realize one thing guys when you when when you're trying to establish what you call an order flow we have what you call a bullish order flow when you talk of a bullish order or, or a bullish order flow you get that a bullish order flow and then we have of course a bearish order flow when I say a bearish uh, a bearish order flow your chart should be low let's say each let's say that's the trend eh? your chart should be low okay it's just uh, a sign of a bullish order flow you understand that so let me let me tell you one simple secret now if you look at this we are seeing already our higher highs okay make sure you you be the first way to watch the video because this is this is my analysis for years DHF this coming week also okay so I want you to realize this. These are my higher highs. But you realize that the distance from this higher high to this higher high is far away from the distance from this higher high here to this higher high. Let me repeat that again. I said the distance from this higher high to this higher high is far away from the distance from that higher high to this higher high. What do I mean? I mean the price range. The price range from this high to the, to the, to the price range to this next high is far bigger because this uh, this high uh, this high is 0 0.9324 that is where we, we we had a retracement from this high we had a small retracement okay to our support here this is our support now where price had to get where the buyers had to gain more momentum more momentum to push price of course the next high high which we have this higher high and then of course after this higher high we have again a small retracement to our our support you get that now what do you see guys here let me tell you one thing why am i trying to tell you about the the the, the range between this high high and this high high and also the range between this high high and this high so you know that this high high here is next to this high high the price difference is so so minimal you can see that the price difference is just some small pips uh, how many pips are these 0 0.9421 0 0.9435 you don't know how to count pips make sure you check on my my old videos that is uh you subtract you just subtract 35 from 21 you get the number of pips you get the number let me calculate that let me calculate that 35 minus 21 so these are just 14 pips the price range of of this high and this high which is so close is just 14 pips so meaning the meaning the 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 buyers are getting are getting not reluctant but they're getting weak in the in the market because now if they cannot push price to add a bigger higher high with the big pips meaning they're kind of weak then if you check from here here if you check from this this one here uh this high to this high the next high you see that it, the price range is big and it's some good pips over 100 pips so what does that tell you? It means that from here, the buyers were very strong because they had the they had they pushed price the, a long high, 
and from here up to here the buyers are very weak now notice one thing guys i want you to notice one thing in this market you notice one thing in this market let me again erase that you notice one thing in this market so whenever whenever price is moving pushing whenever price is moving price move, moves in traces you have to understand that it doesn't move at once okay it's it, it's it's something that takes time you get that that's why we have higher highs you get that it's all up to you to know the direction of the market you understand that it's all up to you to know the direction of the market so i'm going to mark this uh i'm going to mark this high very well sorry i'm going to make sure i use a black color okay because this is a very strong resistance zone for me why am i calling it resistance because when price is moving high and finds a high and you find you see a retracement from that high that point is acting as a, a resistance zone so then the point where price bounces to form another high and breaks this or breaks our resistance and moves to form another high okay now you would see the structure in the market that we are having a structure already here in the markets I'm going to do that. I don't know whether you notice what I'm trying to do. Okay. I'm trying to draw price from my previous higher high. You get that. Okay. To the previous support points, because these are support points. Whenever you see them, because what we expect is we expect, we were expecting price to move high. Okay. That's what we were expecting. Okay. That's what we are, we were expecting. You get that. And still anything can still happen in this market. Why is because we are still waiting for price to retest to this area. You get that? So when price retests to this area, and then also another place we are waiting for price to retest, to either break this point here. Why am I calling that price should break that point? If you check on the line chart, uh, check on the line chart, you would exactly see the structure of the market very, 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 very open because you will see that could see this so so what, what what you consider so much let me show you one thing what you consider so much in trading when you're analyzing your markets is whenever you see price let's say this higher high is closer this high is closer to this high here okay guys this high here this high here is so close to this high what you consider is you consider the first retracement here okay this first support point so you're gonna mark that support point it can also this support point can also turn out to be your break and market structure you get that it can turn out to be your break and market structure that's why you see that i've drawn this so what i'm waiting for is i'm waiting for reaction of price when it is at this point mainly because this is my key significant level what is it? This is my key significant level. So what I'm doing is I'm patiently waiting for price to reach 0 0.93, 0 0.9323. So what I want you to first realize before we move on to the next step is you first realize and be able to, whenever you analyze your chart, I want you to always, because in the market, in the Forex markets, there's always a fight between the buyers and the sellers. And at the end of it all, you're going to know who is stronger in the market. You get that and you're going to be using what i've told you about these higher highs to know who is stronger in the market you get that guys that is a very important thing and the, uh, because now because when when you try to analyze the market always make sure to know the momentum because i don't want you to start by uh, to start buying you start buying when sellers are already getting weak i'm not meaning that when you see sellers getting weak it doesn't mean that yes the buyers they say if sorry now, like this point, it doesn't mean that, okay, it doesn't mean that the sellers are going to start dropping the market badly. No, sometimes it can be a retracement before the buyers gain. But I don't want you to buy from a retracement. You understand? I want you to buy when the retracement is at least getting over. You get that? So we shall wait for price uh, behavior at this point. So you have to know where you're going to be looking for the buys and you have to know where you're going to be looking for the sales, what you're going to be waiting for. Okay, but the most important thing that I've told you about is the order flow. So let's go to another pair and we try to understand another pair. So if you look at AUDSD, it's been falling for some time. And if you've been following me, you'd be you would have been able to catch enough pips, enough pips for yourself. Enough pips for yourself. Now I want you to realize one thing, guys. If you look at AUDSD, you realize that everything, everything was below the trend. Okay. 
if we try to if we try to 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 look at this this trend to look at this trend you would realize that everything was just below the trend if you if you if you person who uses trend lines and 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 you you when you when you okay sorry one thing is when you when you're trying to consider whether everything was below the trend is you look for the tip of the market okay and and you match it with the present of the market you get that so you read that everything is below the trend and what what do we know about that we know that it's a bearish order flow it's a bearish order flow so now after you've seen your bearish order flow what i always do as a trader is i make sure i mark my my major loss you understand you mark your major loss you only mark your major loss you only mark your major loss now at this point we can see that price read a major low here this was this is the this the, the maximum maximum low the price rate okay and because after all these lows that we have been dropping a lot we have this low here and if you look at this low i'm going to be zooming it out if you look at this low i want you to try to look at this low here if you look at this low we had a correction then price comes back to the next low you understand but it's respecting the next law. So the question is, are we going to end up in a double bottom? Or what are we going to end up with? You get that. Then another thing that you see here is, you see a retracement after this law here. Of course, when you see this law here, we have a retracement, okay? To a support point which is here why i call this support is because i'm expecting price to move to push price the next law but again price respected that law okay it hasn't broken that law yet so one thing that you should also realize is you look at the character you see the characters of candles here we have so many rejection here that's a very strong support point okay very strong support point so let me try to to mark this support point uh with this I'm trying to mark this support point. I'm trying to mark this support point with this. You understand that, guys? Okay. Now, now, what's very what's very unique about AUDSD right now is I want you to pay so much close attention. I'm gonna be waiting for 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 what for a breakout, a breakout, a breakout price either to move up to this point, price either to move up to this point here. Sorry. Price to move up to that point, or price to retest back to this law, and either we wait for it to break this law. But the chances of breaking this law are, are kind of low. Okay, so what I'm expecting is let us see what will happen alongside this point. Let us see what will happen alongside this point. But what I want you to realize is the change. It sometimes it's very hard for you to. So to notice a change of trend but when you pay attention when you pay attention you can easily notice a change of trend guys okay so one thing you i can tell you the only thing i can tell you guys is after watching my videos i want you to make use of my videos go and practice if you need more of my help and i told you guys that we are in a we are in a challenge of growing small accounts and this is the second week we haven't moved so far but still we are at least consistent we are somewhere so make sure you be part of that challenge so guys one thing i can advise you is think of getting funded or think of growing your small accounts this strategy will help you so much let me know your comment below let me know your comment and don't forget to don't skip those ads guys let me know your comment below let me know your comment below and where you're watching from if you really love my videos let me know your comment you never know what i what you can win thank you so much for watching this video guys i wish you all the best and i wish you all the best i'm gonna be traveling because i had to go out so i'm gonna be going back home you get that that's why i'm not able to shoot my face i'm able just to teach you this you get that so i wish you all the best guys and see you next time guys bye